Well, hey everybody. Welcome to my balance workshop. I'm Steven Reichert for Foundation Fitness. And uh, for the next half hour or so, I want to lead you through a series of balance exercises. You know, my main goal in working on balance with you is to help you prevent falling. So I try to incorporate a lot of movements that challenge you in new and different ways uh, because, hey, that's the nature of balance. Uh, we live in a three-dimensional world um, and uh, you have to react to the changes of your body in that space so that you stay upright and don't fall. Okay, so this is meant to be an interactive workshop with you. So please hop on your feet and join me. Um, and let's have some fun. Okay, let's uh, get started with a little bit of uh, warm up uh, before we really delve into our balance challenges. Uh, but first, a few uh, big, broad gestural warm up exercises. And let's start with a sunflower pose, uh, which is squatting down. And sweeping your hands on the floor and then coming up with your arms to the side and all the way to the top. Okay, so let's start here today, loosening you up. It's good to have you. I do this class weekly and we have a lot of fun trying new and different ways to improve our balance skills. Let's continue on here. Incorporate some breathing into this. Inhale as you open and raise your arms. Exhale as you lower back down to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down. And all those people that work on breathing know from yoga class, and you want to inhale when your body is in an open position like this. Exhale as you come back to a closed position. Inhale up. Exhale down. Start to bring that energy and awareness into our bodies. Inhale up. Exhale down. And let's do one more, please. Inhale up. Exhale down. Great. Can we do a little helicopter? Um, let's pick our arms up here. Keep them up level to the floor. I want you to step to one side and turn and twist like a helicopter. Come back in and step to the other side and turn and twist. Okay, just go side to side just like that. Loosening up your spine, your arms, your legs. And again, continue your deep breathing as we continue to warm up. <laughs> Let me say this um, about the balance exercises that we'll be doing today. Um, if you are at a more beginner level, you may want to hold the back of a chair or even a wall or a door frame, okay? So you make that decision on your own. If what I do is too challenging for you, Start by holding on to, say, a chair. And as you progress with the exercises, you'll be able to not use that support. And you'll be able to do the balance just by yourself. All right, one more time each side for our helicopter twist. Good. Back to the center, very nice. Hey, for our next warm up, let's take a step forward and open your arms wide, pull them back. 
then step back with feet together and then close up your hands. Okay, and then alternate to the other foot. Step and open, back and close. Step to open, back and close. And I think you might guess how we're going to be breathing on this movement. As we open, we inhale. As we close, we exhale. Okay. Open and inhale. Back, exhale. Continue on just like that. Good. I hope it feels good to move in a big, broad way like this. Sometimes I feel that those of us who have fallen, we end up in, in the way we move in life. We just start moving in a more cautious way, a smaller way. And I think that ultimately ends up being counterproductive. If we do encounter a falling situation in the future, you really wanna have this flexibility and this mobility, okay? So I really want you to go big. Last couple. Fantastic. And let's stop right there. Good. I want to show you a warm-up exercise that stre uh, stretches the back of your leg, your hamstring. And let me just zoom down here so you can see. Um, we would just call this take a bow. Watch me. I want to step back and keep the front leg straight as you drop your chest down. And I want you to feel this stretch in the back of this front leg. Okay. Take a bow. Come up, feet together, then switch to the other foot. Step back and drop down into that stretch. Okay, feeling that? Just keep alternating legs like that. And each time you go down, maybe you'll go a little further. Step and take a bow. Step and take that deep bow. Hmm. Notice your breathing. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go down into the bow. Just continue at your own pace like that a couple more times. I like it. I like it. Okay. All right. I'm going to zoom back up. Um, as we move into a little bit more um, balance work here specifically, I want you to do a little experiment for me. Will you stand with two feet on the floor, about shoulder width apart? And I'd like you just to ad lib here and move around and explore your space, okay? There's no wrong way to do this. Think about like modern dance as inspiration. Turn and twist side to side, high and low, front to back. But all the while as you do this, see how far you can reach out before you might fall over, okay? I really want you to explore your world and find the limits of where that might be. How far can you go before you might fall over? Right? So you're getting a sense of 
how much space you can take up, which is quite a bit if you're on two feet. Let's go another, just a couple of movements. Ad lib and have some fun. Excellent. All right, let's come back to the center and rest. So what do you suppose is gonna happen if we try to do this on one foot? I think this is gonna go to zero to 60 in two seconds really fast, right? <laughs> so the difficulty level is gonna shoot up pretty quickly. Um, but let's try it. Uh, let's do the same thing only standing on one foot. And I just want you to go around and explore your world. And notice that the world has shrunk. Your universe has really shrunk on one foot, but that's okay. Just experiment and explore your world on one foot. If you're losing your balance, put your foot on the floor and come back up and try it again, okay? Continue to just to ad lib here and have some fun with your movement. Good. If you're doing a lot of wobbling around like me, that's okay. Okay. I want you to find all these little stabilizer muscles in your leg. And start to connect your mind and your body to work together. All right. Why don't we switch legs? Ooh, okay. Take a little breather and let's switch legs. Remember, if you're losing your balance, you can always put the foot on the floor, regain your balance, and come back to the exercise, okay? So let's try it again. The other leg, move and have some fun. Challenge yourself. Remember, no wrong way to do this. Just express yourself with some nice big movements. Okay, good stuff. Okay, how about one more nice big movement? Make it good. And end up with two feet back on the floor. <laughs> okay. So um, our vision is certainly a big part of how we get information about where we are in space to hold up our balance, right? It's certainly not the only way we get information neurologically to keep our balance. So let's start to take away the vision on this. I want you to do the same thing we just did. And if you're up for it, close one eye. You're gonna really be wobbling around. And if you find that too easy, you can close both eyes and really push the limit, okay? So let's switch legs from where we were last time. Close one eye. I'm gonna to start to take away that depth perception, that stereo vision. And so now I'm forcing you to have to adapt and start to connect with other sensory input so you stay balanced, okay? So let's try this. Keep one eye closed and move around. Explore your world just as you did before. Okay. 
maybe you don't want to watch me in this case. Just focus on you because you see I'm wobbling all over the place myself. But that is all right. This is the way we're getting in touch with all those other ways of gleaning sensory input. Okay. If one eye is still too easy, you can close both eyes. Anybody who can do that is very impressive. Okay, let's stop there. Open your eyes and let's switch legs on the beat. Close the other eye or both if you want. Let's try the same thing. Okay, here we go. One leg balance with one or two eyes closed. Great. Let's go one more nice big movement. And open your eyes, put your foot on the floor and take a breather. Okay, thank you for trying those. You know, our vision is one of our main sensory modes of input, but it's obviously not the only. Um, as we continue to do some balance work here, notice maybe the position of your foot on the floor, that tactile sensation of touch, right? We also have the crystals in the inner ear. Uh, anyone who's had vertigo knows uh, what that feels like when those crystals are in the wrong place. Um, that helps us with the sense of orientation. Um, we've got nerve endings in our muscles and our tendons. Um, so yeah, a lot of people even talk about sort of a, maybe a noise or a sound might be an anchor for you. So um, as we continue on, tap into some of those other ways of keeping yourself balanced. All right. Um, as we move on, I want to have you do some leg work for me. These are good strengthening exercises for all of your hip muscles, but they're also really good for balance as well. So let's take our left knee and let's raise it up and down. Okay, left knee up and down. And I want to lead you on a circuit of exercises here, just standing on the one foot, okay? Let's only work the left leg as our moving leg and right leg as our planted leg, like the root of a tree, okay? So let's continue with this up and down movement. Good. Now let's make some circles with the knee, okay? Circles. And here's the little ref refresher on what I said earlier. If you need to hold the back of a chair or a wall, go ahead and do that for this series. Okay. Great. All right. Remember to get in touch with all those other sensory input avenues that we just talked about. And let's now take the leg, make it go out to the side now with a straight leg, lift it up, up, up to the side, up and out. Nice and slow and controlled. Lift it up there to the side. Good. 
All right. All right. Can we do one more, please? This time, keep the leg straight, if you will, and now make circles with the leg. Big circles. All right. Keep breathing. And I know that my glute is on fire and burning. Maybe yours is too, but that's okay. Let's push through this. These are the biggest muscles in your body around your hip here. Let's challenge them. Big leg circle. Excellent. Go one more big circle for me. Excellent. All right, let's put it on the floor. We're going to switch legs and run through the same circuit here on the other leg. Okay, so let's pick it up. Knee raises up and down with your right knee. The left leg is our root that's grounded in to the earth. Beautiful, nice deep breaths as you do your work today with me, of course. And let's go on to our knee circles. Explore how large of a circle you can draw with your knee. Beautiful. All right, ready to do those side leg raises. Come on, straight leg now, lift out to the side. Lift to the side. Good. Not easy. Hey, and last couple coming at you before we do those leg circles. All right, keep your legs straight and let's do that. Big circle, come on. If you get good at these, you are going to have a much easier time staying balanced and avoiding falling. Because we are challenging you in all these planes of motion, right? <laughs> that is the real world. Let's go three times around the circle to finish. Beautiful. Thank you. Back to the floor. Ooh, okay, burning there. All right, hey, I'm gonna zoom my camera down so you see the next exercise. I'm all the way on the floor. Um, so, hey, I want you to tap with your right foot. Clockwise, please. 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and then nine o'clock across. This is the hard part. Okay, so let's go with the right foot. Tap clockwise. 12, three, six, and nine. All right, continue on your own pace here. And challenge yourself to step as far out as you feel that you can. Great. Check out the ankle work that we're doing on this one, on the leg that's planted. That ankle has to work and hold you up in all these different directions. Great. At 
after the one you're on, go one more time clockwise for me. Good. And let's switch legs. Now we're going to use the left foot, but going counterclockwise this time. 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, six, and then three. Okay, let's try that. Left foot, tap counterclockwise. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. That's a tough one here. This crossover does trip people up. But it's good to practice this in a controlled way because this could be problematic in a real life situation where we get our legs tangled up like that. We have to be adept enough to untangle so we don't trip. Let's go for the last one here, counterclockwise. Good. All right, back into the center and rest. And I'd like to finish with a tree pose for you today for our balance workshop. So uh, those of you who know yoga well are really familiar with this. Those who aren't, I just want to say that <clears throat> there are some ways to make this a little easier if you have trouble balancing in tree pose. I'm just propping my heel up onto the leg that I'm balancing on for the easy uh, intro version of this, a little harder with my foot up on the knee, and harder still if I bring the foot to the inner thigh. So why don't you practice that on your own? See what you can do. Beginner is just propping the heel up, intermediate, bringing the foot up to the middle of the leg, and the advanced version, as I'm doing now with the foot on the inner thigh. Let's put our palms together for tree pose. Look ahead, find a spot on the wall or out the window to help you balance. And let's hold this for 30 seconds. And start to lower your legs slowly to the floor and release your hands down. Good. That's tree pose. So let's finish our workshop today switching legs. Remember beginner, intermediate, and then advanced all the way up inner thigh. Let's take a deep breath once you get set there. And let's bring the palms together. Look ahead, find a little spot to help you balance, and let's go for 30 seconds. And now slowly come down, bring your foot back to the floor, lower your hands, and feel the solid earth once again <laughs> on two feet. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for your effort today. That's Balance Workshop for today. And uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you back next time.
Peace out.